fully finished object but I've got a couple of, I so I've been on a bit of a tangent trying to finish all projects before starting anything new I've got a cupboard full of projects that aren't finished um, I'm slowly chipping through them all um, they vary from sewing to quilting to doll making to you name it I've tried it uh, but I did find a couple of uh, finished cross stitch pieces that I did years and years ago um, but they're not fully finished so I'll show you those so the first one is um, this little sunflower design it's only tiny it's on 18 count um, white ada and there's the pattern or the, the picture it came with the wooden house frame um, it looks like my kids have drawn on that so I bought that I think probably in 2000 um, I'd gone for a holiday to stay with my in-laws and taken the new baby and just needed something to do at night time so I stitched that up so there's the, the house um, but I don't actually like it in the house um, it doesn't fit it's really on the edges so um, yeah I'm not too sure how I'm gonna fully finish it so if you've got any ideas let me know and um, I'll get that um, finished the other thing I found in my box of UFOs was a um, musical cross stitch kit um, it's stitched on um, I think it's 14 count even weave so that's the picture there so it's baby's first Christmas um, so that was a bit cute I don't like the cheap plastic frame that it came with so um, but I stitched it obviously it looks like I stitched it in 2003 so it's got 2003 on it so it must have been I don't even know who it was for so but I'm going to take the 2003 out and um, change the year so that's that finished it's a bit cute Again, if you've got any ideas for a finish, let me know. Um, because, yeah, I don't like that cheap plastic frame. It's pretty rubbish, really. Um, so that's those two. So I'm happy with um, progress on all of those. Um, now, my work's in progress. Um, I've done quite a bit on... Year of the Rooster. Um, I think that's the way it goes, yeah. So that's how that's looking. I've just about, I can't even see if you can see. Um, I've just about finished that first block of pink. There's only a couple more rows to do in there and then I can carry on so I'll have to measure you know the same distance around the outside um, to get the, the shape it's going to take a long long time it's going to be a very long work in progress so you're going to get sick of seeing it so that's that one um, now the handmade sampler that I showed you last week um, I was working on that little patchwork heart I, can show you. I haven't done any more on it but what I did was oops, it's frame. Good. what I did was I pulled out the frame that I was thinking of using which is here so it's just a I'll take that off I can hang it that way or that way um, but it's too small so I'm glad I didn't do too much on it um, 
so I might make that into a little magnet or something and then start again and do my measurements properly and not just try and wing it because it doesn't work so that's where I'm up to with that one <coughs> um, so now I've had another new start I haven't worked on any of my other uh, work in progresses I haven't done any on snow white since the beads I haven't done any on the birth sampler since I last showed you and I still haven't started on the second um, stitchery that I'm doing the, the frolics um, what's it called something frolics uh, sunshine frolics I haven't done haven't started that second block on that one yet um, but I have jumped on the bandwagon and in America they stitch all these amazing um, small pieces that they use and they change them out in a display every month if you go to um, the YouTube channel the real housewives of cross stitch which is Chelsea and Chelsea and her mum Priscilla um, mum and daughter team um, Priscilla does some amazing finishes and she uses sheet metal and magnets and she can change them out seasonal um, or um, just when you know she needs a change so um, her work is just amazing so they do a lot of cross stitch patterns from a company called uh, what is it? Country Cottage Needleworks and I've since um, made a start on um, a new one which is called January Cottage which is from uh, 2011 I'll insert a picture of the finished picture I haven't got the pattern here but here's where I'm up to on that I don't know if you can see but the white snow on the roof it's got a glittery shimmer to it. I don't know if you can see that. Um, but it's going to be so cute. So I'm going to, this is January, so I'm going to do all the months. I should have probably started with maybe October so that I can at least display it. But um, liking to do things in chronological order. I started with January. So this is there. Um, because they have white Christmas, we don't have white Christmas here in Australia. Um, January is still part of their winter. So this, it's a shame, but it's still, um, it's still lovely. So I'm very happy. That was, I started that day before yesterday. Um, and it's really, really cute. Okay, so now I will enter... Um, my haul footage that I recorded yesterday so hang about and watch that and I will be back shortly okay so here's my haul let me show you what I've uh, recently bought so I've got some uh, just a meter of felt each to finish some projects and I will be able to show you
probably for more project bags. Put these little tassels so I can attach those as zipper pulls. So there's 10 in that packet, they're 3.5 inches. Very cute. The picture makes them look quite bright pink, but they're sort of more a baby pink. And I've got these cute little buttons. So there's a little sewing machine, there's a little spools, there's some scissors, there's a little bow with a ruler bow. So they're very cute. Lincraft was having a 40% off sale and I've bought a kit um, it's got everything included so, floss and everything's in there so that'll be fun to do obviously I'll change it to our family name and that is 14 count ivory aid
current projects so I'm all kitted out for those now and I've got a big bunch and they were $1.25 down to 75 cents each so it was a good time to sort of stock up and get what I needed so that's all of those so that's my little haul um, so back to the normal video all right thanks bye I'm back um hope you enjoyed that little haul so I'm now fully kitted out for probably a wee while until I see something else um, last night on yesterday after I um, got home I had to organize all my floss I put a photo on Instagram I'll insert it up here somewhere maybe over there um, of all having to wind all the floss onto bobbins so last night I painstakingly um, did that so here's my container I don't have a you know I'm only got what I need um, so I numbered all the little floss cards I don't know if you can see the numbers on there but here they are so I'm happy that's all done um, and ready to um, use and find I've got to stop saying um I will I'm gonna put a note in front of me for my next video stop saying um okay well I think that's about it from me uh, I will let you go and thanks for stopping by and we'll see you again next week have a great week bye